Morning, it's uh, David Thomas, archivist at the Cornwall Record Office, back from his summer holiday. Good to be with you once again. And we have two for the price of one today in David's Dazzling Documents. A lot of the documents we've got visually in, are visually inspirational, both by their script and by their items that they have within them. And our first document on the table here today doesn't initially look that impressive. It's actually a register of bands from the parish of All Saints Tuckimore near Camborne. And the first vicar of the parish, Edward Crow, in 1845, was not that great a writer when he wrote in the band's register, as we can see from his writing here on the first page. But after a little while, the quality of the writing in the volume changes. And it becomes, in my opinion, the most superb example of 19th century copper plate writing written with a steel pen which we have here in the entire record office and the man who wrote this script was the parochial schoolmaster for the national school at Tuckamore called Richard Perkin Chatton and he was there in the 1840s and the 1850s and if we look at some of the way he does this work it's absolutely amazing we do have examples in our collections of printed indentures and if you look at this quickly, you might think that his writing was printed. And it is um, an example of where, as the pen is moving, it's turned from side to side to make the letters widen out and then reduce in size again, where the pen strikes the paper. If you look, for example, of this um, B here for Bennett's, that's all done with one squiggle of the pen. And there are little touches, little flourishes. You see the large tail on the R for Richard here and he also has his own little way of crossing his H's we see the little mark in the centre of the H of Henry in this uh, particular instance superb there's nothing like it and it's, it's a wonderful piece of Victorian calligraphy the second document is much more visual and we like to think that in our um, little videos and also if you visit us here in person you're inspired by what you see in visiting a record office. This is a document called the Alerki Estate Atlas and it was compiled in 1690 for the owners of the manor Alerki around Bruin and Lewin, Bruin Lanahorn and Varian on the Roseland. It was done by a man called George Withiel who worked in Cornwall, Devon and Somerset.